So Lord Merles has returned. He is joining us today. And um, so I'm not really sure how this will go, but we put Miles in charge of a segment, which might be a disaster, but we'll suppose we'll find out. <laughs> but Lord Miles, people who don't know, has been in Taliban custody, I think is the correct term. Holiday. Holiday. He's I had Taliban a lovely, holiday. it was an unexpected mandatory <laughs> holiday, guys. <laughs> a, a nice mandatory holiday for, what, eight months? Eight now? months. And it wasn't just for Taliban, it was their intelligence agencies, GDI, so it's like the MI6, their CIA. So he's been having good fun trying to reintegrate back into the hellscape that is England compared to the glorious. Well, it's kind of easy. There's no real difference between the two countries now nowadays. So <laughs> I just walked around. and was like, wow, it reminds me of Kabul. Oh, wait, this is Birmingham. <laughs> I mean, you say that. I had the same thing when I came back. Genuinely. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen your latest video. That's excellent, by the way. It's like, yeah. I watched that in Taliban prison, and the Taliban were like, "Wow, that's really good, lovely country." <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> the GDI are watching my videos, being like, "Oh man, London has fallen. Yeah, Billions must." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but I suppose um. I'll let you take it away and um, tell us how you've been, man. Yeah, of course. So it's been a lovely holiday. Lovely to get away from it all. Uh, you know, I've uh, I've changed quite a bit. Had a good time. You've shaved. Yeah, I shaved. The, uh, my hairline's doing excellent, as you guys can see. Uh, so it's branded now. So it spells an M for Miles, you know, so it's on purpose. No, for Mujahideen. <laughs> yeah, for Mujahideen, yeah. For, uh, oh, no, it's Miles, it's for Masad, so uh, Masad Miles, you know. I'm going to get arrested again for saying that when I go back. <laughs> but for people who are wondering, Miles does schizo post IRL quite yeah, a lot, I'm, I'm but kinda, it is in good, in good humour. If you're anything like me, witnessing the gradual decline of Western civilization can really drain your energy. But if you want to get through the day with your sanity intact and keep a sharp mind as we wade through the ashes together, a good night of restful sleep is vital. That's why you need Rest Again. Rest Again is a natural supplement that contains 11 scientifically backed ingredients designed to get you to sleep and help you to stay asleep by working with your body's natural processes and not against them. Rest Again wants to ensure you get a great night's sleep and make sure to do this by sticking to doses of ingredients that have been shown to work and have not chosen the cheap option for you. Rest Again starts by supplementing the vitamins that your body needs to produce GABA and melatonin, the sleep chemicals naturally, including vitamin D, B6, and magnesium. Then, Rest Again adds in herbal extracts like ashwagandha and L-theanine, which have been shown in scientific studies to help people get a better quality of sleep. And to top that off, Rest Again gives you what you need to get to sleep at night, not just after your body has started producing what it needs. That means an extra dose of melatonin and GABA that tells your body it's time to sleep. Rest Again doesn't claim to be magic and can't promise you that it will work for you, but if you're not getting the results that you're satisfied with, then Rest Again guarantees to give your money back. So if you're interested in improving your sleep, then click the link below and get 25% off. Uh, anyway. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get back into the segment, guys. This is really going well so far. Thank you for this opportunity. So when I got arrested in Kabul, this was my fifth time in Afghanistan. So, you know, you casually pop down to Afghanistan five times. It does raise some suspicions. Taliban were like, hey, Miles, bro, why, why have you come here? What, what's going on, man? Is this a midlife crisis? Or, you know, are you a spy? I'm worried about you. Yeah, they're like, we're concerned about you, man. And I was like, hey, I like your country. I like going for holiday. And to be fair, you, you look on my name and you know what comes up all the time? Danger tourist. You know, he's just going to dangerous places. Partly, Partly, but I also, I also do some business. So I'm opening a gold mine in Afghanistan, as you casually do. You know, you got... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Obviously. Yeah, exactly. You go, to, you go to open events at university. It's like, you know, you got a lawyer. You got like... <laughs> you got gold mine in Afghanistan yeah, society. Yeah, like, <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> opening a Morrison's franchise is just saturated. So you, yeah, mate. You Afghanistan <laughs> opening a gold mine. Exactly. I'm all a Tesco's guy myself about a three pound meal deal. Actually, it's gone up to four pounds now. Bloody oh, inflation. Brother, card. You've missed so much. Oh, yeah, it's a good yeah, thing you have that country. gold. It's so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll just try and pay in gold bullions in Tesco's, you know. Probably won't cover half of groceries nowadays, bloody hell. But anyway, I became the biggest Taliban merch salesman in the West. So I would actually buy up a bunch of Taliban merch, <laughs> fly back to the UK and set up a huge markup. And to be fair, it's worth it for risk, but I have to go through and all that. So I made a decent chunk of change off it. And to be fair, it was very much worth it. So I remember all my friends were like, Miles, you're retarded. It's going to pay terribly. You know, you, what are you doing? And they, yeah, PhDs about only less money than the traveling Taliban merch salesman. So uh, <laughs> things are quite good right I now. I like when people come from the Middle East, like Europe, they, they sell knockoff Man United shirts and like yeah, Brazil yeah. football shirts from 2002. <laughs> and you're there going, who wants a turban? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yes, it's like... Get your turban, pan a turban. Oh, yeah. The amount of times I would go into like an airport and I would 
you know, I would, I, I know I could walk through without uh, declaring anything, but I just want to mess with the airport police and all that stuff. So I slam, you know, my backpack on the uh, something to declare section, unzip it, and I go, oh, you got some Taliban merch here, got some headbands, <laughs> I got some, got le- I got some 911 <laughs> was, yeah, was, yeah. was it carrot sticks, black taped together? <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> I've got like, uh, I've got like some swords, some stuff like this, and they're like, you know, it's like, holy crap. They call him a counter-terrorism. It's like, there's nothing we could do about Miles. He's just kind of a goofy guy, you know? <laughs> and, yeah, like, he, somehow as well, Shopify allows me to do my stuff and it's all chill. And somehow... Well, they're not a terrorist group, to be yeah, clear. Yeah, true. They, this, is they the, are... but this is one of the quirks people don't seem to understand sometimes, which is that um, the Taliban aren't declared a terrorist organization in any part of the West. The only yeah. places I can think of, well, at least on Wikipedia, it says Canada and... Japan. Which I've sold to Canada before. Well, that's yeah. a customer's problem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it means that what you're doing is completely legal, which is what makes you such a weird and interesting character in that yeah, way. It's like no one's no one's buying and selling that stuff. And to be fair, I mean, it's it's clearly under Taliban rule, so their merch does sell well. Like, I've had some embassies buy their new flag off me. Now, I can't say which embassy, but I've seen the shipping addresses, and <laughs> it is genuine. I think maybe some guy's just ordering and sending it to the Afghan embassies just to troll them, maybe. But, um, you know, a lot of, some weird people do buy my stuff and it, it's a good business. And also the gold mine thing, that's next level, guys. So, you know, if if I want if I wasn't gonna ever get a uh, mortgage at this point, uh, you know, the gold mine's gonna just exclude me from ever banking or anything. So turns out Afghanistan has what uh three trillion dollars worth of mineral reserves, two hundred million dollars are in this one site. No one's bidding for it. The Americans can't go there. Again. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, can't, yeah. they come back just for the gold. Yeah, they can't. Oh, we forgot our three trillions worth yeah, of like, minerals. Like, oh, crap. Yeah. The oil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need to bring uh, freedom or something. Yeah. yeah. We're going to spread some democracy and take yeah, back yeah. three trillion of. I don't believe in democracy, man. It's kind of cringe, you know. It's just it's just a bunch of retards voting in retards, you know. Actually, yeah. I, I should be head of democracy. I'm a retard. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Two hundred million dollars worth of gold is in that side. The Americans can't bid on it because of obviously they're Americans, and the Chinese already have enough land rights up north, so they don't want too many uh, Chinese investors taking over Afghanistan. So apparently, I'm the Taliban's top guy for this stuff. So there we are. I mean, for people who don't understand as well, because there was some criticism for people who weren't familiar, where they were like, "Wow, well, you know, why would you put yourself at such risk?" It is business. Yeah, uh, this is something about international people. At least, I mean, we met some um, when we were there like other human beings who do stuff for business in dangerous countries. It's yeah. actually not that unusual. Yeah, and it's very common. Yeah, you know, they're just not posting about it on Twitter for obvious reasons. They've got common sense, you know. There are hundreds of people in Afghanistan right now, British people, Americans, Chinese, all this other stuff, just doing everyday business because it is necessary. It's just not very visually public. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think you're probably the, the, the top guy for, <laughs> for making this like a thing where people understand, oh, there are human beings who go out and do these, you know, big risk, big reward. Uh, situation. Oh yeah, because, well, it's the opposite opportunity. Exactly. They you got, got you can't take the gold mining in Afghanistan pill. You know, some people earn thirty grand a year out of uni, working some crappy nine to five job. But I just goof off and just sell stuff on Shopify and you know dig dig up money from the literal ground. And hopefully, I don't get executed. Hopefully, I just make a few bucks. It's 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 a really hopefully. yeah. It's a new it's a new pipeline that people should go down. You know, you got drop no, shipping. I, <laughs> I am. You, you got drop shipping. You've got you know you've got shelling up a shop five gold store. Ore. Yeah, now now gold <laughs> order. That's the next thing, guys. You know, Andrew Tate will pick up on this someday. I guarantee it. It's it's the next big thing. Are you actually? I do. If this does work out, and you do end up setting up a gold mine. Are you actually going to bring back samples? So. Because I want, yeah, to yeah, no, I, I will, because I'm really the Lord autistic. Miles Gold Mine. Oh yeah, of I've course. Got a piece on the wall. No, just to piss off my university that tried to kick me out of the Koi for Luft University Gold Mine yeah, Afghanistan right. campus. Yeah, just to piss but they off. can't do that. You're Afghani. Yeah, exactly. Well, here's the thing, guys. Too, I got offered Afghan citizenship, so the guys were like, "Hey, uh, you see how brown he is?" Yeah, exactly. I got a tan. You know, I look like Walter White on that photo of there. Uh, Walter so Brown. <laughs> Uh, should we go through the photos? Yeah, yeah, let's go through them. So we'll, we'll start we'll at the beginning. Start, yeah, yeah, of course. So Miles has brought for us uh, a show and tell slideshow of uh, good stuff, you know. Good times. <laughs> yeah, man, this is a uh, this is my <laughs> so holiday presentation. Time. <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, friend and I, uh, this is uh, one of them is James, one of them is me. Uh, when we got arrested, uh, obviously they were saying, "Hey, the security, we can't show where we're taking you." At this point, we thought, "Oh, nothing's gonna go wrong." So we put a bag over our head and tie us up a little bit, you know, and we're just laughing. We think it's kind of goofy, uh, really bad. Over you know, how did you get a picture? They let's take a picture. I was like, I literally pulled out my phone. I was like, hey, like, 
take a pic, take a pic. And they were like, oh, much Kanishna. Yeah, and passed you by me, it's no problem. And they were just giggling with us. You know, they thought it was chill. Because people of... find that difficult to believe sometimes. But when I, because I can testify being with you in Afghanistan. Like, oh, yeah. It's... Sincerely, the, they want to have fun too. Yeah, yeah. So... It's like they're a bunch of lads, you know. Everyone, when they think of a Taliban, they think of Black Hawk Down or some serious other. Serious face. Yeah, it's very time. serious, you know, very, oh, I hate, I hate the West, billions must die, you know, type of thing. But honestly, they're just a bunch of lads that went for a war. They got their own country back and then just kind of like sometimes a little bit bored. You know what's funny is yeah. you're saying this, and like some people take like uh, offense or something to that. Yeah, like, good. That's weird. That's funny. No, but what's really funny is I remember when Kabul fell and the guy in charge of British defense went on national television and said exactly the same thing. Wait, what did he say exactly? He said they're country boys yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're anti corruption and they want their country back. And, <clears> and then I think it's true. Pete Burley interviewing him was just like, Huh, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's true, though. It's dead all wrong. Um, I think, you know, the class is freedom fighters. They just want to goof off. You know, honestly, <laughs> I would just say white boy summer, kind of. Okay, so that, <laughs> anyway, we, got, we had a lovely photo. Yeah. Uh, this is me in Taliban prison, by the way. So I didn't go to the actual physical prison. I went to a guest house because they were like, you know, Miles didn't have a permit for going to this gold mine area, this site. You know, I screwed up. I do apologize for Taliban genuinely because I got respect for rule of law there. I screwed up a little bit. At first, they suspected I was a spy and they found out I wasn't. I'm just a goofy, quirked up kid who's just having a fun on his holiday, doing some everyday business in Afghanistan, as you do. Just a humble shoe yeah, salesman. Just, I'm a humble Afghan shoe salesman. Oh, by the way, a uh, shameless plug right here. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Shameless plug. Shoes. <laughs> so I got these are Taliban shoes right here. I'm very sorry for dirtying your. Did you get them desk. signed by the prison? Oh yeah, yeah. So I was like, sorry, I went the to the staff in the uh, prison, and I was like, hey man, okay. sign my stuff, sign my stuff, you know, sign me up. And they they signed me stuff like I love Afghanistan. Uh, I think this says Stand number one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was, that was actually me. That was actually me. By the way, yes, my hand. Next up in the there. auction, we'll have signed football boots worn by Cristiano Ronaldo himself. <laughs> Welcome to QVC. Yeah. So, did they also... just finally get some like shoes, like no, boxes of shoes fashion. from the 1990s? No, these are... just turned up. Basically, <laughs> yeah, these are made in Pakistan, but these are like the Air Force ones over there. So all the Taliban wear these. I thought. Oh, geez, man, another business opportunity. I need to buy up 50 units of Taliban shoes and sell them in the West. And so the Taliban were amazed by this when they were interrogating me. They were like, why do you have 50 pairs of our shoes? And I was like, business, my friend, business. You can sell them for big bucks. And they were just staring at me like, okay, man. So if, if you go on my Twitter, this is on eBay. Happy bidding, guys. Good and you stuff. want some shoes that were in the UK in the 90s yeah. and are now yeah. if you If you wear them to the airport, you'll get a free finger up, you know, where we don't <laughs> shy. So... <laughs> Very good stuff, you know. Um, take this 10. will scare all the ho- <laughs> this will scare all the hoes away completely. Um, <laughs> you know, you have to be autistic to buy these. So all your followers, I guess. But this is this is your business to explain, like you. Actually- <laughs> yeah, man. Like you could buy these up for a few quid if you buy them in bulk. I mean, obviously shipping is a logistical nightmare, but I've sorted it out because I've got my top T's and you know, the top Taliban uh, in Afghanistan helping me out. So- I remember there were some people asking, like, why can the pr- why is the price such and such? And I just remember thinking. Well, you could go to Afghanistan and get one yourself. Yeah, it's like, if you want to go, I can help you guys with the visas and you could pay like several thousand pounds for flights. But it's like, I go there and we're I... In, we're not endorsing this as a company either, just to make clear. <laughs> I am. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm game. Views of Lord Miles do not necessarily <laughs> represent me, the views of the management. <laughs> <laughs> so true. But honestly, it's good business. I'm doing quite well. Um, I'll never get a mortgage, I don't think. I don't think that West will ever approve of my uh, doings. But, or life yeah. insurance. Yeah, somehow I had life insurance, uh, but you know the premiums are stupidly high. I, I don't tell them all about my activity. So, um, I suppose back to your activity. Yeah, yeah, back to my activity. That's me in Taliban prison right there. You see that? I'm goofing off. I'm smiling. It's a guest house, so I'm just staying <laughs> in a normal house. I have my laptop. I'm watching movies with the Taliban, like Rambo Free. We- it's like an Afghan Faulty Towers. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah, it really was. Honestly, it felt like it most felt like, people um, thought you were either dead or I don't know in a basement somewhere. There is no scientific evidence that I can die. Honestly, have you? Yeah, it's true though. I will trust. Most things will never kill me. Ninety nine nine point nine 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 percent of things will never kill me. So only one thing in this world can kill me, and I, I am convinced by Pakistan. my delusions of grandeur that it will be for North Centralese on North Central Island. One day, guys, big if true. You know. Anyway, I'm chilling. Uh, this one with Taliban. He's like, hey, how can we take your photos? Lovely hat. This is me just chilling on my bed. I had the American X look. Um, I uh, shaved my head because I thought, you know, what I'm going to look like. Uh, this is me with one member of... <laughs> I'm kind of like mad-dogging him. But um, that's one member of their GDI. We've, we've uh, blurred his face for security reasons. 
I'm just chilling with these guys, hanging out with them, playing rock, paper, scissors, tic-tac-toe. We're, we're exercising together, morning, we're eating food together. We're actually playing Team Fortress 2 together, you know, that video game. I had my gaming laptop with me. I was like, hey, man, want to give a go? And they, they had some fun, man. They had some fun. We watched the new Barbie movie together. Uh... We watched Black Sorry, you had, a, you had a ladies' night in. Yeah, man. Well, we had we had some passion <laughs> farsi subtitle files, and they would always go to the market with They'll me. Talk about boys and yeah. everything. Yeah, man. They were, they were like, you know, we were just lying on the floor, like, hee hee. What do you think of Brad? You know, <laughs> what do you so, think of Mohammed? <laughs> are they pro Ken or not? In the end, yeah, they were like, this this is a very. They were like, very good movie. I don't understand it a lot, but it is quite good. Uh, at first, when we watched the movies, uh, they were very, 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 not very liberal about it. So every time a woman was on the screen, they would go, ah, oh, just say, try and like flash past the woman on the screen. Ah, Amy Schumer, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then <laughs> they watched, we all have in common. Yeah, yeah. But you just didn't like see women in the, in the movies. And like when we watched, you know, women that were just in the whole movie, it was very hard. We just skipped through two hours of a movie and we watched 10 minutes of it. But when we, uh, <laughs> eventually, they kind of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was fun, man. Eventually, they loved Titanic. They watched Titanic and they loved that. Uh, there was one scene I think they very liked. I can't mention what scene it was, but one scene really resonated with them. Uh, but they actually were hopeless romantics of that. One of the really tough uh, Taliban dudes actually shed a tear and like he looked quite sad at the end. Duncan, Duncan, Jack could have fit yeah. on the board. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I just imagine in the quote, like if I was going to write a hit piece on you, now I can say that you said that the Taliban are hopeless romantics. Yeah, it's true, man. <laughs> Honestly, they, they have heart. You know, they're humans. They're the same as us in some way. You know, um, <laughs> but I'm a dude, yeah, no, no, shit no mass immigration. Trust me, they could stay right there. I, uh, yeah, like, I mean, like, this is, to yeah. be fair though, I, I don't know what your opinion is on this, but I found it um, the case after I came back, which is, okay, you guys are very different, in which case your country, your rules, whatever. Yeah, yeah fair not my country. And yeah, in which exactly. case, I think like everyone can get along with that. Yeah, it's chill, man. It's like, you know, I think we should kick out all the Afghans, to be honest. But um what, what to send them back to Afghanistan? Yeah, why not? <laughs> all right. This is England, man. Uh let's see as well. <laughs> yeah, and also well, Miles' too, opinions yeah. don't necessarily represent the views of the management, I will say. <laughs> Yeah, or not, times. <laughs> not publicly anyway. Also, this is uh, me, Walter White, laughing. Uh, so, you know, Jesse, we need to open the poppy seeds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we need to open the poppy seeds. Jesse, 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 Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, we need to declare Johan against the Americans. <laughs> no, it's cool, man. Did you but... introduce them to Walter White? Yeah, we watched Breaking Bad with the Taliban. I had, I had it on my laptop. Um, I bought it from the bazaar for like 50 pence, uh, the entire Breaking Bad series. And it had Farsi subtitles, so they were watching a few episodes with me. And when I shaved my head like this about halfway through my stay, they literally pointed at me and said, Walter, Walter. I was like... <laughs> Walter. Yeah, that's Put your dick away, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, he's so autistic, but I love it. But honestly, look right here. They looked after me. Honestly, they were really kind people. They would, they would, uh, I, obviously, I did commit crime. That's my bad. But they were like, you know, it's a small crime. If you need a taste of home arms, we go buy you some takeaway occasionally. We go get you some Coke. You can have your laptop, of course. We can let you download movies. You can go on picnics. So I was just chilling. I was just chilling, guys. Your detention was pretty cushy, by the looks of it. Oh, it was very cushy because you know, small, it's like small crime, uh, you know, small problem. You know? Okay, but also you're a special case because I mean, like I am special, yes. Uh, no, no, not like <laughs> Mum would say. But I mean, in this case, in this situation of like you being uh, a guy who's come back so many times with a profile and is quite um, unusual. Yeah, I do mean like yeah, that, I, like I guess Mum I would say. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I was completely honest with these people. They they saw my previous work and they were like, oh, actually, some of your some of our staff here actually follow you on Twitter previous to this. We think you're kind of chill. And I was like, that's what I was getting at because yeah, they know yeah, who you yeah. are. Yeah, they fig they figured out who I am. They figured out oh, I'm coming to do like a big business, and that gold mine could be worth two hundred million dollars. So they're like, this guy seems alright. To be fair, you know, he just made a small mistake, didn't have a permit. Happens to the best of us. To be fair, you know, I mean, it's very paperwork. Yeah, yeah it's paperwork. The Taliban do not like paperwork. So they're like, ah, you know, you gotta stay with us a little bit. You have a very small sentence, but. We're going to keep you cushy. You know, we're going to keep you happy. No problem. Just, you know, you're a brother, you're a friend, you're a guest. We're going to look after you. And I was like, thank you, my friends. And to be fair, I made friends with them. They were very lovely. Look, they had that lovely pizza. Uh, over here, I had some chips and, and some biscuits. Uh, I learned some pastu too. So I chilled with yeah, the I'm house proud staff. of you for that. Because I remember when we were there, like you didn't learn a damn word. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I learned like at least thank you. And I was like, well, bro, you should have Afghan, Well, the Afghans come here and don't learn a word. So I thought I should go ah, there and just have that, you bastard. Yeah, yeah. Equal... <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, yeah. So, uh. Nena, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when I went there, uh, I 
I was staying with some other people in the guest house, of course. We had about eight Taliban servants. They introduced us as, as uh, servants to us, saying, yeah, we're going to look after you. We're here to keep you happy, keep you, you know, uh, stable, all good. Um, and they were chill. They were just lads hanging out with me. You know, felt like I was back at uni in a shared accommodation. And um, this photo here is one that was with another guy, another prisoner, but he's he got released a while back. And this is me. I, I started bulking as well. So I started you know, buying a lot of food and I got kind of small at that point. I, it was kind of good, you know, just posing. So we got to the point where I bought some workout equipment and I was like teaching the Taliban, hey, this is how you do, this is how many sets you do, this is progressive overload, you know, this type of stuff. So we got to a point where I was kind of doing a fitness class with the Taliban every morning. Uh, that was quite fun. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it was chill. I mean, look at that. I'm not, I'm not well, you got eight that. months to burn. I mean, yeah, literally. Yeah. I, I mean, would I'd... buy your Taliban workout DVD. Yeah. And bring it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's way better than any of Davina yeah. McCall's. <laughs> just eat, just eat like five loaves of nan a day and just like lift constantly and just listen uh, to like. Uh, Afghan music and then the power of God. Would Afghan just... music? I think not. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No music. music so true, Ram. brother. No, no. Taliban music's actually all right. It's like, it's a lot of... Just nasheeds? Ah. Uh, uh, and just some singing over it. Okay. So it's, it's no instruments. Instruments aren't allowed. That's but up think... my alley though. So that, like, give me Yeah, some. yeah. But ta- yeah, I, I remember I would wake up sometimes in the morning with Taliban just like listening to music on Spotify, no joke. There's some ta- there's like a there's Taliban, Taliban music side on of Spotify. There's a Taliban side of Spotify and they were just listening to the music in the morning like most people would at uni or something. So they were really, you know, it was kind of relatable. This is me in the entrance of a gold mine. Look at me, relatable. look at the headline. I had I had some hope left at that point. So inside there is where the Soviets actually did, took geological samples and went, oh, you know, this, this is worth like $200 million right here. So I went inside we actually found like just straight up gold right there. We tested to see if it was fool's gold and stuff. It was real gold. If we dug that out, that'd be what a few, a few hundred or a few thousand dollars just stuck in the wall right there. With gold ore. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy. You know, there's so much money to be made in Afghanistan, and it is a great country for business too. They really do want foreign investment, but sadly, the Western media has kind of screwed them over in that type of stuff uh, with the perspective. Uh, perception of things. If you go there, they're really open for foreign business. Uh, so I'm going back. I go and bite it back, by the way. Uh, yeah, this is me at the end of the cave. The cave honestly went on for about five minutes. So we are like 300 meters down. It's very deep. It was quite fun. And like for Taliban shoes, like, these are these are real. Please buy them. I need to buy food. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look at this. Just a and, humble shoe salesman. Yeah, man, I'm just a humble shoe salesman. That's uh, that's why I put on my taxes if I did them <laughs> and paid them. <laughs> No joke. I haven't paid my tax in three years, man. Ooh. You sure anyway. you want to say this live? <laughs> I don't care. Man. Right. <laughs> what, what are we going to do? I mean, I'll just run to Afghanistan and they're not going to put me back. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've seen this photo before. This is brilliant. Yeah, man. Look, this, look that guy's <laughs> getting yeah. arrested, I believe. Yeah, man. This is me getting arrested. So this guy, <laughs> this guy is photogenic as hell, isn't he? He's got a lovely smile. He's got great teeth, too. Uh, we got arrested um, and they were just like, yeah, let's take some photos, dude. This is kind of fun. I was taking photos throughout. Um, I'll tell you as what happened in between. So obviously I got interrogated and questioned and they tried every uh, angle in the book to see if I was a spy or not. I wasn't. So, I, you know, they were like, Miles, if you're a spy, you know, you can join us and we'll pay you. Just tell us your tricks and your training and you get to leave. I was like, no. They're like, Miles, we found information. We know you are a spy. Just admit it. And I said, I'm not, man. And in the end, they realized I wasn't. And I kept thinking, why do they think I'm a spy? And you know what happened then? My friend James, he got arrested with me and just doing normal routine interrogation to see yeah, why you're here, you know. He told him Miles might be a spy. Miles might be a spy. You know, to work in intelligence, you require intelligence. I clearly lack that. You know what I mean? I am like, I, I don't know, know mate. I, I'm, I'm, I can't quite tell if you are a complete retard or a complete genius. <laughs> There's a fine I guess, line between yeah, it's the like, two. Yeah, it's like Forrest Gump was retarded, but he owned, you know, he became rich, I guess. Well, so. bought Apple, apparently, according to the, the movie. Yeah, so. man. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, apples are really good to eat, but I just don't know about their business, you know? That's literally Forrest Gump's line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm kind of Forrest Gump laughing right now. But um, <laughs> honestly, I, my friend did throw me underneath the bus. I don't know if he meant to do it or if he was just, you know, under stress, under... You know, panic some, or something. Yeah, yeah, panic. He did have... He does have anxiety. So it was great to bring him to Afghanistan. But he did screw me over and 
yeah, you know, I'm just not happy about what James did, to be fair. So um, if you know a James in Nottingham University who uh, studies a PhD, you know, just uh, give him a slap for me. Okay, yeah, don't endorse violence. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no violence. Just say, hey, James, you naughty boy. Do not get Miles arrested again. <laughs> you got arrested by yeah. the Taliban and you're completely okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Ten years, you know, his brakes might just not work anymore. So, uh, you know, watch out, James. I'm coming for you. No, <laughs> no, no, he's no, chill. He's chill. Unless, Unless you apologize, buy my shoes. apologize, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, to the censor at YouTube who's probably watching this, who's deciding whether or not to delete it. There is a lot of irony. Lane. Yeah, we're joking, man. A hundred percent, man. I'd even go to Afghanistan and this sword Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Big if uh, true, by the way. Do you remember when we when we first were going there? Though we did fly out. For, I think it was from Birmingham. Oh yeah, that was. Do you remember? Cool, wasn't it? I thought I was going to be interviewed you for maybe you know. Was it Birmingham or Bristol? It was. No, it was Birmingham. It was Birmingham. Yes, yeah, we yes. went to the the toilets. I remember. I still got the footage where we're looking at the toilets, and it's like yeah, toilet slash wudu. I was like, what the hell is a wudu? What was a wudu? Like, Apparently, it's what you do. You clean yourself before you go and do Islamic prayer. Okay, fair but we were looking around, and everyone around us as well was also wearing Afghan clothes. And I was like, I already feel like the wheeled one. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. So I mean, there is massive. Uh, yeah, it's it's change. Yeah. Well, mm, yeah. Whole other uh, conversation. I you, suppose on. You miss Afghanistan, don't you? A little bit. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is a lovely country. No joke. Yeah, actually, it's very beautiful, and the food really good, isn't it? And plus, everything's really cheap. But there's something. I, I don't at risk of sounding like one of those hippies from the sixties who used to go to Afghanistan and be like, bro, that's so cool. There is something mystical about that place. Yeah. Even it, with all the I don't know, unfortunate aspects, someone yeah. might call it. You know, it's not it's obviously not not a perfect country. It's it, they're starting up again, but it has a lot of potential, man. And it's something, you know, mystical about a far off land that, you know, most most of humanity hasn't ever seen or touched. And they've got these beautiful mountains tipped with snow and the rest is sand and there's obviously a uh, beautiful sun gleaming on you beautiful blue sky uh, you got some lovely Shit nature trainers. yeah <laughs> honestly hey, man, these, are, these are drippy man we, this is going to be new fashion trend honestly sneakerheads are going to be buying these 100% yeah honestly uh, the Taliban Air Force Ones are going to sell out no joke and look, um, look what it says here uh, CP so that's apparently the brand uh, the name of a brand in Pakistan who produce these uh, so it's very unfortunately named so the CP oh yeah. no yeah I was thinking the CP company you know that is actually a, a, a I guess yeah, it's luxury just... fashion brand oh no you don't know about that no no I didn't uh, but it's just a very poorly named never mind anyway I suppose yeah, we should yeah. end this segment before we go even more off the rails but <laughs> yeah obviously um, but it's been good far I suppose should we end off with um, that last image there because I'm, I'm dying to see what yeah, you've man. got yeah man so I got invited back to buy the Taliban, they said you have no problem. Do you get get one of those honorary Mujahideen certificates saying well, you'll never be searched, never be questioned, you can't be arrested, uh, you have access to all areas in the country. The Taliban have said, Hey Miles, if you come back, make a video on Tora Bora, we'll give you a personalized tour. They're gonna give me office space for my business. Things are really moving up in the uh Miles Afghan relationship world. <laughs> but I think that's how we go see for the next time. Ladies guys. and gentlemen, the foreign secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely, oh. I mean, if we needed a, uh, an ambassador to the new yeah. Afghan government... Yeah. I'll consider being uh, the British ambassador to Afghanistan if the king asked nicely. So you're joking? <laughs> well, you're not joking, actually. I but, don't know, man. But there was this... Uh, I met a guy once from the AFD, and he told us about the uh, when the Trump administration got in, they had to pick a new ambassador to Germany. <laughs> yeah. And they just picked some guy who apparently was a local shit poster that Trump just liked. He was American, and then just liked Germany as well. So the AFD would just meet with him. He wouldn't hang out with the actual government. Yeah. He'd be bothered. They would just meet with the AFD because they're funny and just shitpost 24-7. See, you, you see, you're, you're encouraging me. That's the worst thing you could do, man. It's the only thing <laughs> most people could do. do but I don't want to go... I don't want to go down the pipeline of just shitposting myself into, like, no, governments. You can, you, can, you, can, you can do it, but officially as well. I can officially shitpost. Yeah. I can imagine having the official amb uh, embassy account and I can just tweet random stuff just to cause mass panic, you know? Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will retweet that. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to... The last one here, I suppose. Which oh, is yeah, I forgot. Yeah, they, they read my book. Oh, so your I, tan's coming on nicely. <laughs> yeah, lovely. That was me a few months in, by the way. That's so this is the, the Taliban um, uh, in, intelligence services reading your book. Yeah, so the commanders, the top commanders and the ministers of you know each uh, government sector read my book. And they actually really liked it. And they said, Miles, when you make another book, you know, use your laptop to write a book whilst you're here. But... Please bring us a version in Pashto that we can read. We'd really enjoy it. Like, thank you for publishing like a decent book. We found it was quite funny. And I was like, 
oh man, this is the weirdest timeline, isn't it? But fair enough, I'm just rolling with this. Like, they liked it. And um, they saw the top top G signature from uh, Andrew Tate on there. They were like, you know the Andrew Tate? And I was like, hell yeah, man, we're friends. Like, look at me, uh, got, got him in my DMs. And they were like, wow, invite, invite Andrew Tate to Afghanistan. I was like, inshallah, why not? <laughs> They seem to actually like him. Yeah, they like him, man. He's he's a big Muslim, so why not? You know. But anyway, I suppose we'll learn this off just so people can know if they want to see more. Um, there's your YouTube channel, which you can go check out at Lord Miles on YouTube. Yes, man. You can go and check out. I went shooting the Taliban just beforehand. They love that video. Please follow me. Please search on YouTube right now. I really need the ad revenue. Well, not that one. That one got demonetized. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you're working on YouTube. I also think all my videos have been demonetized. I can't imagine why. Uh-huh. Um, but anyway, there's uh, various here you can go check out. They're good fun. I actually weirdly enjoyed it. I remember back in the day. Where is it? The one where you went over the EU border. And oh, yeah. Twice. Scroll up. Yeah, it was that one right there. Was that one? No, uh, the one next to EU yeah. border crossing, yeah. Yeah, I just... Hey, I want to come with you on some of these. You can come, yeah. These just, sound, just, look, quality. Just, Bro, just, uh, me. just write up a will, just in case, and you'll be fine. <laughs> I've got nothing anyway. Yeah. Well, I've got loads of trips planned in Afghanistan. You're welcome to come, man. Yeah, there's that. There's also Bring my son uh, hat. The Lord Miles YouTube. No, sorry, Twitter account. Yeah, my Twitter's my Twitter's blown up at this point. So it's lovely stuff. Go on there, I ship post things. They know you're amount. Catholic? Yeah, they were chill there. They gave me my Bible on my laptop. They said, Yeah, download the Bible PDF. We have no problems. You're a guest. We respect your religion as long as you're not Jewish. I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> now, apparently there was one Jew left in Afghanistan right up until like, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And he was like, Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. He was like, he was like, no chance of opening a bank here. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Got sex, and then the last one here just being the Instagram link. There's yeah. this one, I believe. My Inscri- yeah, that's my very very small Instagram. I've just started using it again after years of inactivity. So please go and follow, guys. I I really need it for my uh for my narcissistic uh, delusions of grandeur of being a 1800s British explorer. So yeah, that's me fo- smoking my first ever cigar with Tate. First time I've ever smoked or anything. That's when I found oil in Birmingham. Uh, it was really good. Anyway, <laughs> uh, oh. It's it's good to have you back. I'm glad you're doing well. It's really good to be back, guys. I I love your stuff. I actually watched some of your videos in Taliban prison, by the way, because he let me download some YouTube videos. So it was good. You know? I wondered who those new subscribers were. <laughs> <laughs> good, man. Thank you, guys, by the way. Brilliant. Fantastic. And, and okay. bid. I need the money, please. <laughs> this is high quality stuff, 100%. <laughs> I suppose on that note, uh, we'll move on. <laughs> if you appreciated that episode from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as the Lads Hours, this one on ranking British cities. If you'd like to find out what else is being put out, you can follow on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.